Digital switching has been a part of marine and specialist vehicle markets for many years, available in various forms. More recently, it has become an integral part of daily home life through systems like Hive and Philips Hue, which allow users to control lighting, heating and other smart home functions with ease. In essence, digital switching means that the load is not directly connected to the switch or input device that is operating it, sometimes called fly-by-wire. Historically, digital switching in the marine and vehicle sectors relied on proprietary standalone systems that lacked integration. While these systems offered clear benefits such as simplified wiring and an enhanced onboard experience, they were often complex to set up, requiring a laptop or PC with specialized software for programming. The high cost and complexity meant they were typically reserved for larger vessels or specialist vehicles where space and budget allowed for dedicated control screens. However, the rise of smart home systems easily accessible via smartphones, tablets and laptops has driven significant growth in digital switching technology. Their intuitive setup and user-friendly interfaces have made them more appealing and accessible. Recognising this trend and the challenge of bringing digital switching to smaller boats and vehicles, Energy Solutions has spent two years developing Smart Switch, a four-channel digital switch designed to integrate seamlessly with the Victron GX Servo. Why the Victron Servo? Well, Victron is the leading manufacturer of onboard power conversion equipment, offering the largest range of power solutions. Their products form a comprehensive ecosystem for mobile power management, all controlled via the GX series, including the Servo and Ecrano, both of which feature an intuitive graphical user interface and full remote monitoring capabilities. With Smart Switch, you can now enjoy simple plug and play digital switching that integrates directly with your existing system. Setup is done through the Servo's intuitive menu, familiar to existing users and easy for newcomers to navigate. Now let's take a closer look at the smart switch. This is a four channel digital switch capable of switching five amps per channel and an overall constant load of 15 amps. The unit has a power input and can work at 12 or 24 volts DC. Each channel has its own positive and negative output and comes complete with mating plugs. The connection to the servo is via a VE CAN and it has two RJ45 sockets for this purpose. This enables up to five units to be daisy chained. Also, a CAN terminator can be installed if required. On the face of the unit, you have a number of indicator LEDs which show the status of the channel and individual channel buttons that can be used to switch on the channels manually from the unit itself. Now let's see how easy it is to connect the smart switch to a GX device and set it up. Once the load and power connections are made, the unit can be powered up and connected to the GX device. Once connected, you will see an icon appear at the top left of the front page and it will appear in the Devices menu. To set the device up, go to Settings, then select Devices and you will see the smart switch available. Select the smart switch and you will see the status details showing the module name and the module voltage and each channel showing its current setting. Each channel shows its current load, whether the channel is on or off, and the type of switching the channel is set to, which can be latching, momentary or dimming. To set up the module and each channel, select Setup. You can then change the name of the module. Then select Channel 1 and you can give it a name. It can also be assigned a group, which means channels from different modules can be grouped together on one card. You can select the type of switch, momentary, latching or dimming. You can then select the fuse size. Then select Setup from the top bar and move on to the next channel and repeat for each channel. Once complete, you can return to the main screen and select the Smart Switch icon on the top left. You will then see the switch card where you can now operate each channel of the Smart Switch. As you can see, we have demonstrated how easy it is to connect and set up the Smart Switch. You now have access to digital switching with your Victron installation. For more information on the Smart Switch and to make a purchase, please follow the link in the description below.